style, a new color, greater comfort, increased horsepower, greater fuel capacity, easier servicing and smoother operation, plus a completely new hydraulic system. All this in the new Selectomatic range of tractors, the 770, 36 horsepower, the 880, 46 horsepower, and the 990, 55 horsepower. The Selectomatic was born in the design office. At a time when agricultural machinery is tending to become more and more complicated, the David Brown tractor hydraulics are in fact now simpler than ever to use. This was achieved by producing a hydraulic control chest from which any of four systems can be selected at the flick of a switch. A natural development from this was to carry the new system in a new tractor a tractor for any job in any part of the world. So production began, and here the hydraulic heart of the machine is brought to life. A new level of accuracy has been achieved in the engineering of these components. More and more advanced techniques are being applied to all types of agricultural machinery, and accuracy here means accurate control of implements in the field. There are parts in the valve chest that are machined to a radial tolerance of one-tenth of one-thousandth of an inch. So great care is taken to make sure that everything is absolutely clean. When assembled, each hydraulic control chest is tested under simulated working conditions. And to make sure it will stand up to anything it will meet in the field, it's made to lift a one-ton block of iron. And here's an engine starting out on its long working life. Soon it will be doing its job on the farm. But first on the assembly line, 14,000 parts have to be put together in the right order. During the production of each machine, 370 quality control checks make sure that you, the farmer, get only the best. But what's the difference on the farm between this tractor and previous models? Obviously it looks different. It's modern good-looking, rugged, but to the driver, the vital thing is the ease of working. And this is the clue to it, the pointer on this dial. To select a system, push the control lever to select. So to select draft or depth control, height control, traction control or external services is simplicity itself. Let's take TCU first. This is the system for depth wheel implements. It allows you to make full use of all the traction available. The plough is lowered by pushing the lever to the lower position on the quadrant. After the plough has penetrated, 
any wheel slip can be removed by pushing the lever further forward into the TCU segment. When the wheel slip disappears, line up the lower guide with the lever. The David Brown traction control unit was the first system to transfer weight from the implement to the rear wheels of the tractor, and it's still the best. At the headland, raise the plough by pulling the lever fully back. To drop into work again, push the lever to the lower position, allow the plough to penetrate, and then move the lever forward to your preset TCU position. The guides give you exactly repeatable lever positions for all subsequent runs. Traction control can add a bonus of one extra acre for every four ploughed. So instead of only four acres, you can now, using the same time and fuel, plough five. Now the next system, height control. The most accurate height control system available. Just select it. If after coupling up, the rate of drop is too fast, it can be slowed down by screwing in this wheel and without affecting the rate of lift. The implement now drops at the correct speed. For transport, engage the lift latch. This is a mechanical lock which holds the implement raised and takes the weight off the hydraulic system. On entering work, move the lever forward until the implement is at the correct height. Then line up the guide with the lever. This height setting is exactly repeatable and the implement height will never vary. At the end of the run, pull the lever back. The implement lifts and is held by the automatic hose. On returning to work, push the lever forward to the preset height position. The implement is then again at your chosen working height. Now let's demonstrate how accurate this system really is. For this, we'll use an ordinary egg, which we'll place underneath the plough and then lower the plough until it's almost, but not quite, touching the egg. When the height has been set, the guide is lined up with the lever. Now the implement can be raised and lowered as many times as you like, and it will always return to exactly the same position. It doesn't matter what the engine speed is, high revs or low revs the implement will always return to exactly the same position. Variation in the implement weight is also unimportant. Return to the same lever setting will always give exactly the same height. And just to show there's no cheating, we'll break the egg. The height control system is just the job for spraying, and setting up is exactly the same. This 990 tractor has been converted to high clearance, an easy job which can be done on the farm and takes less than an hour. David Brown high clearance front stub axles are supplied as optional extras and increase the clearance from 20 to 29 inches. With the addition of row crop wheels, you have the perfect machine for this kind of work. 
regardless of engine speed and the changing weight of liquid in the tank, the spraying height will remain constant. For a draft controlled implement such as a plough, just put the pointer to depth. Lower the plough by pushing the lever to lower on the quadrant and allow the plough to penetrate. Then push the lever forward until the plough reaches the depth you want and line up the guide with the lever. It doesn't matter if the ground is uneven or if you use a light plough or a heavy plough. This is the reason, the new all-purpose top link. It works both in compression and in tension. This means that regardless of the implement weight or the depth of plying, you can maintain a constant furrow depth throughout the field. At the headland, pull the lever back. The plough lifts and is held automatically out of work. To drop into work again, push the lever forward to the preset guide position and you'll once more be plying at your chosen depth. For cultivators, you can use either height or depth control depending on the draft requirement. For light draft implements, height control. For heavy draft, depth control. And remember, the change from one system to another is merely the flick of a switch. Now to external services, which shares the same position on the dial as TCU. The only difference is that the oil flow is changed from the lift arms to the external ramp. And of course, you can still vary the rate of drop. The same one lever now gives you lift, hold, and drop. Surely a fine example of single lever control on an easy to learn, easy to operate system. This 770 in standard form has a single speed PTO giving 540 RPM at an engine speed of 1600 RPM, which will handle many heavy or light standard implements. On the 880 and 990 tractors, a two speed PTO is fitted as standard, as well as the standard speed of 540 RPM at two different engine speeds all 1,000 RPM implements can be driven with maximum efficiency and economy. Typical of the versatility and the economy of the new Selectomatics is this combination of a power-driven crimper and the new David Brown mid-mounted hydraulic mower. The tractor is doing two jobs at once, efficiently, quickly and economically. So remember, whatever the job, whether it needs traction control, height control, depth control, or external services, you can do it at the flick of a switch with a David Brown Selectomatic.